when I'm doing something like this, I'm tempted to try to take a shortcut. Like, me and it's hard to get the plug out. Maybe I'll just yank the radiator out. Hope for the best. No, that wouldn't be a good idea. So I watched the video, and I'm not going to make a video about how to do this because the young lady that made that video I was telling you about, it's such a nice video. She did such a good job. I could never match that. But what I did do, she didn't have all this plastic. There's like a plastic undercover on this car. Well, she didn't have all that to deal with, and I do. So I got all that pulled down. I got this radiator dripping. Uh, there was some water coming out, but not a lot. So that's making me wonder if there maybe wasn't much water in this anyway. I don't know if, it's, if they ran this thing after they cracked it, but I would think if all the water ran out, they must have. So this might not be a good, it might be, not be a good thing, but it is what it is. I also noticed there's a screwdriver type clamp down here rather than that squeeze clamp. So that means somebody's had this off before. I believe she told me they may have put a radiator in this before. So I think what I'm gonna do is put the plug back in the bottom of the radiator drain and just screw it back in so it won't be dripping on me and take that hose off and then I'm gonna take apparently there's some screws that hold the bottom of the fan in that I have to take out also and there was something about a well I don't even know this is a straight shift car so it shouldn't have cooling there's a cooling hose here but I'm thinking there's a, there's another uh, cooler here it could be for I don't even know power steering nope, I don't know I guess we'll find out as we go along but okay so let me get a, let me get a screwdriver or a wrench or something and get this clamp off of here and then get my head up on here I can try to get a little better look at what to take out next. That must be the fan bolts right there. Okay, and there's this little thing here. And that little thing there is going to have to be unclipped. Probably better if I had a better flashlight. Well, so I think this thing has to come undone, and these things, maybe it's in a millimeter too, like the others were. Okay, I'm gonna put y'all down while I mess with this a little. So this thing only had one bolt in one side on the bottom of that fan bracket, which is good because it made it easier for me to get it out. There's going to be a wire clamp I'm going to have to undo here. This is the uh, fan for the car. I get this, there's a couple things to mash here to get that to come out. And I might want a little screwdriver for that. Let's get in there. There you go. Alright, that's one side out. Let's see if we can get the other side out. This might have one bolt in one side of it, and I may have to pull down the shield under there to get to that. So I get back under there and look. So I got both these fans out of here. There's this one and there's this one. This one has a little plug-in wire here that has to be undone and yeah it's got a little catch on the side there. You have to mash it with a screwdriver to get it out. There's another little wire on the bottom of the radiator right there it also has to come undone i think that's probably a temperature sensor and i got a hose down here that needs to be disconnected and then i think 
when I loosen these two screws, I can lift that radiator out. But I'll do that. I'll do that wire there, and then. Uh, Here, you don't need to come under for that. Okay, I got that hose off of there. I can't believe that's gonna just pull right out of there now. Let's see if it does. Yep, it's real. Alrighty. So we want to order up one of these. Get my phone, take a good picture of that. Now let's see. Mr. Pro P41, it says right there, but that's probably, an, I think this has probably been replaced before, based on a lot of what I saw when I was taking it off. So I'll just look up a 68, no, 98 Celica radiator, just basic. And, uh, and order one. 